Hi my dear friends today we will discuss about pipelining in pentium process in the last class we discussed super scalar architecture and some features of uh, pentium process in this class we will discuss about pipe how the pipelining will done in pentium process right <music> i already told when i am discussing about the features of pentium processor it has five stage integer pipeline and eight stage floating point pipeline remember it has five stage integer pipeline and eight stage floating point pipeline the pro the pentium processor integer pipeline is similar to that of 80486 cpu but the pipeline has five stages which the following the functions right so now if you go for the pipelining functions that is first one is fetch and align instruction fetch and align instruction this is the first one and the second one is decode instruction decode instruction generate control word generate control word second stage and third one is decode control word decode control word generate memory address generate memory address and next fourth one is access data catchy access data catchy or calculate alu result or calculate alu result last one what is the last one write result last one is write result these are the steps that are in integer pipeline these are the steps in the integer first one is what fetch and align the instruction second one decode instruction generate control word third decode the control word generate the memory address fourth one access data catchy or calculate the alu result and write the result calculate the alu result and next stage wise write the result in coming to the prefetch first one is we can call it as prefetch pf right in the prefetch during the prefetch stage the cpu prefetches the code from the instruction catchy a prefetch from the instruction catchy and aligns the code to the initial byte of the next instruction to be decoded remember next instruction to be decoded so because of the instructions of variable length this stage in includes buffers to hold both the line containing the instruction being decoded and next consecutive line next consecutive line next next one is first decode we can call it as d1 we can call it as d1 in the first decode cpu decodes the instruction to generate a control word to generate a control word a single control word execute instructions directly more complex instructions require micro coded control sequence in the d1 stage right next next one is decode second stage decode second stage we can represent as d2 in the d2 stage the cpu decodes the control word the cpu decodes the control word from d1 for use in the execute stage in addition the cpu generates address for data memory references data memory references and the next one is execute e we can represent with e so in the e stage the cpu either access the data catchy or calculates the result in the alu so barrel shifter other functional units in the data part and last one is write back we can write as w 
we can write as w b right back the first one is what prefetch d1 and d2 and execute and wait back execute and write back in the write back stage the cpu updates the registers and flags with the instruction results all exceptional conditions must be resolved before an instruction can advance to be write back right so these are the pipeline that is called integer pipeline this is the integer pipeline remember this is a integer pipeline so next we will discuss about floating point pipeline next we will discuss about floating point pipeline so like a0486 cpu integrate the floating point unit on the chip thus eliminating the overhead of the communication protocol that resulting from using a coprocessor so now coming to this floating point pipeline so a pentium floating point pipeline consists of eight stages how many stages it consists of eight stages the first two two stages are processed by the common resources for prefetch and decode in the third stage the floating point hardware begins activating logic function and all of the first five stages are matched with their counterpart integer pipe stages for pipeline sequencing and synchronization right so now we will discuss each stage the first one is the first one is prefetch the next one is first decode first decode next second decode and next operand fetch and then first execute second execute write float last one is error reporting error reporting these are the eight step first one is prefetch second one is prefetch first decode third second decode fourth one operand fetch fifth one first execute sixth one second execute write float and error reporting error reporting in the prefetch stage is the same as in the integer pipeline in the integer pipeline also we are having prefetch stage and first decode it is also same as d1 it has it is also same as d1 and its second decode is also same as d2 it is in the integer pipeline there is both three are same as in integer pipelines now coming to the operand fetch now coming to the operand fetch in this uh, execute stage the execute stage the floating point unit access both the data cache and floating point register file to fetch the operands necessary for the operation so when floating point data used to be written to the data cache the fpu converts fpu means what floating point unit converts internal data format into appropriate memory representation this matches the e stage of the integer pipeline this matches the integer execution stage of the integer pipeline next first execute in the first execute we can write it as x1 in the second execute we can write it as x2 and writing float we can write wf it is is error reporting we can write it as er er now coming to the first execute in the first execution stage the floating point unit executes the first steps of the floating point computation when this floating point data is read from the data cache the fpu writes the incoming data into the floating point register file floating point register file now coming to the second execute in the second execute stage the fpu continues to execute floating point computation execute floating point computations next and seventh one is a write float in the write float stage that is wf the floating point unit completes the execution of the floating point computations and writes the result into the floating point register file 
and last one is error reporting in the error report stage the floating point unit reports internal specific situations that might require additional processing to complete execution and updates the floating point status word integer floating point status words so this is about integer pipeline and this is about floating point pipeline so my dear students please try to understand now next we will go for branch prediction next we will go for branch prediction until then thank you